So you want more performance and a better picture, huh? Came to the right place. We're just going to jump right into it. So you're going to open up your Steam. You're going to come over here to Library. You find your American Truck Simulator. You right-click on it. Come down to Properties. Open it up. And then you see Launch Options here at the bottom. You, what you're going to do is you're going to copy the line of text that I have down in the description and paste it into this box. Uh, this does things like take out the intro in the game. It makes it so you, the game log is unlimited. And it changes the memory pool size for the game's buffers. These settings, these specific settings, will uh, give you more buffers in the game and also larger buffers. Basically, it's like uh, more, more memory, which is always good, right? And you're going to close out of that. And then the second thing we're going to do is you're going to open up your file explorer. I know most of you probably don't have it pinned to your taskbar like I do, so you can just use the search bar to open it up. Come over here to Documents, American Truck Simulator, and then you're going to scroll down to this config file. Oh, that's not what it's going to look like for most of you. I'm going to open it with Notepad. And this can all look kind of scary, but... Uh, we're just going to change two things in here. We're going to change this buffer page size, this right here. You're going to change the number to 50 and make sure you leave those quotation marks there. Then we're going to come down to sun shadow texture size. Now, high in the game is only 2K. We don't want that. You want at least 4K, which would be 4096. But I'm going to do 8K, and you can too if you have a really good system. So we're going to do 81, what is it, 92, I believe? Yeah, 8192. <laughs> I don't have that memorized because I don't really use 8K textures when I develop the truck. Then you're going to save. So we're done with that. We can close that out and we can close that out. The third thing we're going to do is you're going to right click your desktop. You're going to open up your NVIDIA control panel. Now we're going to come down here to change resolution because this is where your monitor's refresh rate is. Some of you might have, you know, gone out and tried to buy a nicer monitor. Like, oh, you know, it's 75 hertz. It's 120 hertz. It's, or it could just be, you know, regular 60. Sometimes Windows defaults to 30. So you want to come down to here and you just want to select the highest number. Then after you do that, you want to come up here to manage 3D settings. You click on program settings. Now, my American Truck Simulator just popped right in. Yours probably won't be there. So you want to come over to Add. Then you want to, it'll bring up a list of recently used. Mine's right at the top, but you just scroll through here until you find it. You click on it and then Add Selected Program. Now what we're going to do is all of these settings here override the game's settings. And you'll be able to tell pretty quickly just how much better the NVIDIA drivers do than the actual game. So you want to set your anis anis well, I always have a problem saying this. Anisotropic filtering. I have mine set to 16. You basically adjust these on where you think your computer is. Uh, honestly, you can turn them all up. It, I, I would, regardless of, you know, even if you're still using a 1060, I'd still... I'd still just turn it up. It's not going to hurt anything. I It might, but... Th this is really, really handy at lower resolutions as well. Um, you want to turn on your FXAA aliasing. Then your anti-aliasing mode. You want to set it to override any application setting. Then anti-aliasing under this. I have mine set to 8. If you're on, uh, you know, if you're on lower end systems, these are adjustable. 
and uh, you don't need to have them. Tu- you don't need to have them turned all the way up because it, it does affect performance. For me, it's so minute, but you know, on lower quality systems, it or tier, or I should say, it it could make a difference. Um, the uh, the transparency. I have mine set to AX Super Sample. I have multi frame sampled AA turned on. That's a good way to. That's a good way to get some quality without really losing anything um, as far as performance goes. I have my anisotropic sample optimization. I have I have that off. Like I said, I would turn this on if you know, you're really trying to get as many frames as you can. I have the uh, negative LOD bias. I have that set to clamp. What that really helps do is... Um, the truck will still remain clear and crisper as you're moving in the game versus just, you know, looking at it standing still or, you know, the truck not moving. I have the Triliner optimization. I have it set to on. I'm actually going to turn it off right now. But you can turn that on and you'll get a little boost of performance without really losing much image quality at all. This is the most important thing in the NVIDIA settings, though. Besides besides this right here, your refresh rate of your monitor, this is... Ooh. This vertical sync right here, you want to set this to fast, and I'll read down here from what that actually does. The fast setting, the GPU renders unconstrained is similar to VSync off but does not tear since frames are in excess of the refresh rate of the monitor are dropped. It delivers latency that's basically it's low latency with no tearing. And what this does is it just allows the game to just run at full bore without your like computer trying to hamper it down because it's making more frames than your monitor can project. What this really does is this will help like stuttering quite a bit. Like when you're rolling into a city or something like that, or, you know, like, I remember in older versions of the game, like, it would be like you just look over at the mirror and the game would chug for a second because it wants to drop, like, 60 FPS. We don't have to deal with that problem anymore. They they fixed that, actually. But So then what you want to do is you want to hit apply. We're done with this. Yes. And then click out of that. Now we're going to launch the game. Unable to sync my Steam Cloud. That's a little weird. That's random. So then... Uh, this is really weird. And of course it happens while I'm doing this. Luckily that doesn't matter for what I'm doing right now. Because <laughs> none of my mods are in the workshop. Oh, sorry about that flickering. Fix that right now. That's my mistake. All right. So what? There we go. There it is. All right. Sorry about that. So what we're going to do here now is come to the graphic settings in the game. We're going to come to advanced settings. You want to set your scaling to 100%, especially if you're at 4K. If you're at 4K, like, this should suffice for you because the scaling just, it kills performance. It, it really, really does. So you want to set that to 100. If you're on lower resolutions, I completely understand why you want to use scaling. 100%. I used to play at 1080. Um, you want to leave the games disabled because it's already overridden. It doesn't matter. Turn on the ambient occlusion in the game. Depth of field, sun shafts, color correction, reflection scaling, 200, reflection detail high, vegetation detail high, grass density high, shadow quality ultra. This texture size right here, this will say custom if you put in um, one of those values in that config file from earlier. So you don't want to mess with that. 
weather quality, ultra mirror quality, high. Now this is really important. Mirrors, and you notice that I set that to medium, but I'll explain this. Mirrors in this game, if you really think about it, what it has to do is your mirrors render the whole game two more times. So that's why sometimes you'll see that, or not sometimes, you will always see a drop in FPS going from the outside of the truck to the inside of the truck. And it's because of the mirrors. Now, you're like, why is your mirror resolution only set to medium? I play at I play at 4K, and the way this mirror resolution works is medium is native to the game, meaning that your mirrors will render, like, will show you, they'll render in the same resolution that your game's running at. So with mine at medium, my mirrors are rendering the game at 4K in each mirror. High doubles that, so... I'd be rendering that at 8K. That kills, absolutely 100% kills performance. It just, it doubles the native. So set that at medium, always. Uh, it, even, even if I had the best computer in the world, I'd still run that at medium because there's just no point to run it higher. Or at least I don't think so. I mean, hey, if you're in a, you know, if you're in a lot or a yard or something backing up, I mean, yeah, you could turn it up for then, but I just driving down the road, like you don't you don't it's pointless. I have the distance set to ultra. Um mirror distance ultra, yeah, it's just said that. Texture quality high, traffic headlights, secondary vehicle lights, light visibility ranges, set that to high, and pedestrians. Then we hit apply. And this is all set. Man, look at how much better that looks. <laughs> that looks so good now. Oh, man, that looks good. This is with none of the games, like, anti-aliasing. This is 100% scaling. Now, let's hop in a game and see what we get as far as FPS goes. Not bad. My FPS would usually be about 20 higher, but I am recording, so. Now, lights obviously kill your FPS, unfortunately. But with them set like this, do you see how I turned them on and we didn't get another big drop? Oh, man, I just realized that the FPS counter is not showing up in the corner. Man, that's bogus. Well... Well, we might get some flicker in here real quick, but I, I need you guys to be able to see this. So we'll switch back over to this. Yeah, see? So with the, we'll turn the lights off. You see what I mean? You see any huge, huge drop or gain in the FPS? So what this does is it just really, really helps keep your gameplay smooth. Now, I'm playing at 4K. I'm, I'm getting 70 frames in the cab. This is what we look like outside. Not bad, right? I apologize for the flickering, but I just really wanted you guys to, um, you know, see the FPS counter and, and whatnot. Um... That's really about it. So, yeah. Thanks for watching or whatever. I don't I don't I'm not a YouTuber. I don't know how to leave. <laughs> so, <laughs> just take it easy, guys. Be safe.